and crooked. Maybe. Who knows? All right. There we go. Fantastic. All right. I'll bring this down a little bit. It's been, I can't believe it's been, it's been over a week. I'm sorry. I had some catching up to do. I had some sleep to do. I had, well, I had lots of stuff to do. So I, uh, I knew it was the time off. So, but we're back. Yay. So in case you don't know, my name is Shannon and I'm with Paper Delights and I come on every evening from Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. to inspire you, to motivate you, to stir the imagination, to get into your craft space and to get crafting, whatever that is for you. Maybe you prefer scrapbooking, maybe you prefer um watercolors maybe you prefer you know what what whatever it is that that makes you happy so perhaps you'll see a little something on these videos that uh that you can create so i was going through the, the dollar store and came across some um glitter uh washi tape and it started me thinking about some beautiful washi tape that I had gotten from one of my um, pen pals. She had been so kind. She sent me washi tape and a little dye. But I loved the colors of the washi tape. And to be honest, I've, I don't have, like, I've got this, which I've stored in this lovely container, takeout dish container. But... I, I never really knew what to do with it or how to use it per se. I know that sounds kind of funny, but I've just never really played with it. But you see it all over the place, particularly at Michael's. I know Stamping Up had it. And often they come in bundles. So they'll have like coordinated um, looks to them. So they already have um, the the, coord the coordinated coordination oh I'm not coordinated today the coordination is done for you so there's not a whole lot of you don't have to do a lot of thinking as to how it sort of goes together so like these ones all came together right so I know that if I put them together in any combination they're going to look really pretty um, these silver ones I think that one was with that one these silver ones came together anyway so I thought it would be fun to pull out my washi tape that I hadn't seen in a while and create some cards with them. So just a couple of cards tonight, really simple cards. Um, like I said, sort of inspired by my lovely gift from my pen pal. So the first card is going to be this great present card. Isn't that cute? Really a very simple card. So I've gone ahead and embossed. So it's just white. Hi Christy. It's just white. This one I opened this way. This one I'm going to open this way. Hamburger versus hot dog. I cut another piece of whisper white just slightly smaller. And I embossed it in this really pretty snowflake embossing folder, which is retiring. So you probably noticed on my Facebook, I've got up that there's a big sale. So most of the things from our Christmas mini catalog um, will be going bye-bye. It'll be retiring. And there's some great, great deals of things that will be 50% off and... Uh, some of it is 30, some of it's 20, some really good deals in there. So, um, you guys see, I've already got my list here. I've got the real red sheer ribbon, um, this ribbon here, it's going to be on regularly 10 for five, the brightly gleaming, gleaming paper. I love that paper that goes with those 
punches of the um, ornaments. So all that paper is going to be half price. So that's on my sale list that I'm getting. The snowflakes adhesive, um, the snowflake ribbon is going to be on sale. The iridescent pearls, the celebration label dies are going to be on sale snowflake sequins so many things are going to be on sale so i've got my little wish list that i'm started so um it's only while supplies last so if there is anything you can order through um my page to stamping up which is uh linked to this facebook page um or you can send me a message and i'm happy to put an order in with mine when i do that so that starts tomorrow the 8th, right? Tomorrow's the 8th? Yes, tomorrow's the 8th. So anyway, so this snowflake folder is going to be one of the things that's leaving. And it's such a beautiful folder. We've made some really gorgeous cards with that. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Then... All I've done here is I've taken a smaller piece of white and even and a little square and we're just going to add some of the washi tape to it to create um, a little present, right? So you can use whatever washi tape you happen to have at home. Um, I thought I could do the snowman and the fun stripes whatever you happen to have so i'm thinking i'm gonna do this one here it looks like little trees so i think i'm gonna do that one in the middle now i'm sure there's a, a proper way to do this so everything is square and you know all that good stuff but I don't have the patience for that. So I'm just gonna put it on whichever old way. I realized I didn't close my my door. Oh well. If you hear the dog huffing and puffing on his way up. Poor old guy. So that's all I'm doing is I'm just lining it up and folding it over you can do whatever combination you want if you want to do like another um, sparkly stripe if you want to use something different whatever you want so done the green let's see here Got a sparkly green. Got a sparkly silver. Oh, I've got a silver here that kind of looks like snowflakes. I thought. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm just gonna run and close my door here. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So let's put some of this sparkle on here. And like I said, you can build it up whatever layers you want. You can make it as fancy as you want, as simple as you want, but it's a really easy way of using up the washi tape. And that's all there is to it. Could even put one in the middle of my green one here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that just to make my present extra sparkly. So cute. All right. And then I think I'm just going to trim, just going to trim it off.
There we go. Okay. So on this card, we're going to pop this up. We're going to put our little sentiment here. What are we thinking? No peeking till Christmas. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. That's cute. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. So we could do no peeking till Christmas. It's a bit small, I feel, for the space. We could put lots of love at Christmas. That's cute. Let's do that. All right. And we will pop this up. And I think I'm just going to do it in the black, but I mean, obviously we could do it in the green. We could do it. Uh, let's do it in a blue, maybe. It'll be a little uh, different. Kind of goes with our snowflakes and all the rest of it. So I'm just sort of centering it to the best of my ability. There we go. All right, now let's pop this one up. And then we can add a bow to it. And this design doesn't have to be just for Christmas, right? We can do the same sort of idea, but instead use um, birthday, see, like that. So again, it's just another piece of the same colored cardstock that we've embossed. This one's with the Dainty Diamond. I did some of the washi tape with some sort of more spring opposed to Christmas and a nice bow on the top. You've got yourself a lovely birthday card, right? So really simple way of using up your uh, washi tape and um, you can turn it into any kind of card that you want. So we could use a silver bow again or maybe, let me see. Do a blue. A blue bow just to be something different right maybe we don't want all of our Christmas cards to be red and green so. right so we could do that tie in with the blue Kind of goes with the snowflake theme idea we got going on here. So we'll grab a blue dot and we will glue that one down. So you can find washi tape, like I said, pretty much anywhere. I'm sure you probably have a bunch in your... Uh, crafting stash somewhere. So there we go. There's our quick and easy. Card. Using washi tape. So you can make it Christmas, you can make small packages, you could probably even make like a couple of packages make a bigger package and you could even make one for a birthday so very cute so there's our first one all right now for this one what I did was I lay the washi tape across a square and then I took my second largest circle from the set. I use this set a lot. This one is the stitched shapes. I use it a lot. And so I took the second largest one on and got that. Now that 
is going to go directly onto our card with a beautiful big bow and our ribbon going up. So I'm going to punch a little hole in it like that. I'm going to put my thread through and then we're going to pop it up and put the bow on. And we can stamp it if we want or we can leave it. So again, we could do all sorts of different sizes with this. You can use whatever color washi tape you have. You could hang multiple, like have multiple ones hanging, right? So I'm going to tie my ribbon around it. I can manage it today. I did it the other day and then I took it off and now I can't do it again. I think what it is is I had the strings were sort of pinned down so that I could so that I could do it. Oh there's the dog. I knew he would show up at some point. He's almost always up here when I start to do my Facebook Live. All right. And then we'll just put the bow on and then we can decide how long we want the little tails on it. And we can um, put our greeting down below on our card. Sorry can't really see. I'm just trying to tie the bow. There's nothing, I'm not doing anything uh, terribly fancy here. Just fighting with the, with the silver twine, trying to get my bow to tie. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put some glue dots and pop that up and then we'll stamp our greeting. There we go. So again, you know, you could have a, a longer piece. You could do a longer piece with more of it on and then do different sized um, shapes and what have you. And then that way you can uh, have multiple ones hanging if you wanted. Or you could do the washi tape on some paper and use that punch, the nice ornament punch that we have too. That's really pretty. So I want it sort of in the middle because I'm going to have my Merry Christmas or what have you. I'm going to put a glue dot underneath my silver cord here. Ooh, where did it go? I tried to roll it and then it went flying. Okay, we'll try that again. So I'm flipping it over so that, oh, found it. <laughs> so that when I put the strain on it it's not uh, it's not really visible that's the plan anyway it's not going so good okay here try this there you go so I just wanted to put a glue dot so that when I trimmed it off it would stay up there there we go all right now we're cooking with fire. Now for my bows, some of these two will get, once I put them in a bag, in a, the, the silicone bag, it will flatten out.
So there's our bow, and then all we have to do is find something we want to put underneath. We could do another blue. Um, I'm thinking though. Oh, I'm thinking for that one. Maybe a gray to sort of kind of go with that a little bit. Not quite a dark black, but and I'm going to use the same stamp here. There. So there's our second card. So again, like I said, really simple, easy to do with the washi tape. Put it on your paper, punch it out, pop it up, some ribbon. You're good to go. Quick and easy. And like I said, I think kids could have a lot of fun with that one. And then the last one, I've got a piece of white with a piece of balmy blue. And my idea was to put strips of the different silvers across and then put the snowflake on top. So I'm grabbing all my silver here because they're all sort of different widths and everything. So we'll give it a try. Let's see how that turns out. I have no idea. I didn't make this one ahead of time. I just had an idea. So We'll see. Who knows? All right. So part of the tricky part with this is finding the edge. So I do want, whoops, my edge to be on a bit of an angle. I've seen some too that they've put it intentionally on an angle, like on the paper, which really appealed to me because I'm never too sure if I can get it on straight or not. So they actually like put the tape on an angle, which I thought looked really cool too. So we've got that one. I like this one here has got sparkles and shine let's do a shimmery one I don't think you can go wrong with whichever one you choose I just thought it would look cool with the blue and some of the silver here so I'm gonna leave a very thin space in between them And I'm sort of putting them over to the opposite side of me so I know that I've used them because they are all very similar but this one's got little holographic stars on it and I, again, I just sort of want to trim the edge so it's not a frayed edge. It's more of a clean, a clean edge. It's coming. It's very shiny. Hopefully it's not too, uh, too shiny for you guys. Sorry.
can keep going. So the idea was that I was going to put the tree in front of it. So maybe we'll do one more and then we will put our little greeting. I'm just going to trim again, just sort of trimming the edge so it looks a little cleaner. Giving it a little bit of a a little oh, it's so shiny. I'm having a problem seeing. Not quite, but close enough. There we go. So the other thing I might do is put some up on this end up here. And then we can put... Um, Let's see, what do we got here? Do a joy to the world. That would be pretty. Let's do a joy to the world. And I think I'm going to do gray again. I don't want it to be too, too harsh. And I'm going to put this tree is going to go here. I want to put this here. So we can put some, I'm going to put a couple up here. And I think it's always good to have an odd number. So we did five up there. So I'm going to put three up here. And then we'll put our tree. And then we're good. So like I said, lots of places have washi tape. All sorts of different looks to them and stuff. So pull out your favorite. Go check out Pinterest. And you're going to have all sorts of ideas. You can have lots of fun. All right, there we go. So let's glue this up. So I'm going to put adhesive right over it as well, just to make sure that everything stays in place. There we go. Look at that. So pretty. And I'm going to put some smaller um, some smaller ones here just to pop it up a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of height. But I want to be strategic where I place it because I don't want you to sort of see it through the through the front so so far so good so I'm just gonna add a few more 
and then we are good to go. There we go. All right. I don't think it needs any more bling because we've got lots of sparkle and shine. And there we go. So this was a tree that I had left over that we had um, heat embossed on the vellum with the white. I just happened to have uh, a drawer with some leftover trees. So, so there. So those are our cards for tonight using beautiful washi tape. So I'm sure, like I said, if you dig around, you will find a trove of washi tape or the next time you're out and about I got a bunch in a stocking I think it, last year or a few Christmases ago so so there you go so there's our cards for this evening don't forget the sale starts tomorrow if you're interested and would like to place an order with me please let me know or you can go through um, the Facebook link to the Stamping Ups website so Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful evening and please, please stay safe and I will see you tomorrow at seven. Thanks, Marianne. Yeah, some washi tape. So have a wonderful evening. Thank you.